virtual demo. So we're going to log into DDN Insight here. And as we log in, we're going to see some initial dashboard, which is kind of configurable or whatever you want. Um, in this case, we're seeing some, some latencies of drives and some distribution of those latencies. We're going to look at Workload Analyzer. I'll just pause it here. What it's done is in real time with running jobs, it's ordered them in this case by throughput. See, we selected throughput here. There's not big numbers on this. It's just a demo system. But what you've got for each line, that's a different job running on a system. But from a storage perspective, we're telling you who, which jobs are consuming the throughput of the storage system. And you can do that by IOPS or metadata. So it's kind of cool because, you know, probably the one of the most common causes of, of troubles in these systems is, you know, some user does something a bit crazy, maybe writes a script that creates, you know, a billion files in a directory. And often the administrator won't know if there's a problem, if it's slow because there's a physical problem or a bottleneck somewhere. And with this, they can really identify what's often the case. There's a, a user doing something tough to the storage system and exhausting resources. Uh, so this is kind of unique. It's very difficult to do this. So we, we take in these RPCs, we package them in, we read them through a database, and then a user, an administrator can see exactly who's doing what, which client it's coming from. If we scroll forward a little bit, you can see this on a graphical basis too. Here we're seeing the overall throughput of all jobs. But if I click on that peak there, it will then show me you know, exactly which jobs were contributing to that peak and which is a big culprit, um, which of those workloads running on the system, it could be an AI framework, could be anything, who is really saturating the performance. In this case, we're not really saturating, but of course it could be. Uh, so we, we really like this. This is where we're going. Um, we're going a lot more development in this area um, because the metadata we actually collect from a storage perspective is kind of unique. And you think about people have talked about data centric architectures. Um, leveraging this metadata is generally very powerful for understanding what's going on inside whole infrastructures and optimizing everything and keeping uptimes high.